This video will demonstrate how to remove SMD resistors or capacitors with a regular iron. The goal is to get both sides molten and then push the component off with the iron tip. Sometimes you can just alternate between heating one side and then the other, but it usually helps to add additional solder. The additional solder acts like a reservoir of heat to help keep each side molten longer and also helps to transfer heat from the iron tip to the joints. Heat transfers much more easily through molten solder than a dry tip, just like cold water versus cold air on your skin. You can even use this technique on somewhat larger components, like this 1206 capacitor. One caveat to how easy it looks in this demo is that I'm using a practice board that doesn't have any traces or ground planes. Any metal coming off the pads will act like a heat sink and draw heat off the pads much faster, making it hard to get and keep both sides molten at the same time. For harder cases like these, try adding even more solder, or holding the side of the tip along the component so you can heat both sides at once. If you have to remove a lot of components, it's worth looking into tools designed for this purpose, like this tweezer-style iron that's actually two irons in one. A cheaper route would be to just use two irons. You can also use a hot air tool and tweezers. More guides and kits are available at CuriousInventor.com.